Unlock the power of interconnected solutions with Renaissance, where superior research meets practical tools for student success. Their newest innovation, Renaissance Next, integrates assessment, practice, and instruction seamlessly, empowering teachers to personalize learning like never before. Renaissance Next provides actionable insights and high-quality tools, ensuring every student reaches their full potential. From clear assessments to personalized instruction and comprehensive data solutions, Renaissance is committed to transforming education. Visit renaissance.com to learn more about how they are redefining learning for the future. Renaissance, empowering educators, inspiring students. You're listening to an EduTech Guys recording from ISTE 2024. Enjoy. Hey, welcome to EduTech Guys. We're at ISTE 2024. Real excited. We're at the uh, the Renaissance Nearpod booth. Um, wow, big, you know, talk about two powerful teams coming together. Real excited to be here with Todd. Uh, we're going to let him introduce himself, although I just said his first name. <laughs> yes, we'll let him introduce himself, tell us uh, who he is and what he does, and then we're going to jump into it. How's that go? Sounds great, guys. Thanks for having me again. Another year at ISTE. It's great to see you all. And I'm Todd Breckis, Chief Product Officer at Renaissance and the General Manager for Nearpod. Awesome, awesome. So this year, some big stuff coming out. I mean, this is a, this is a huge boot. It is, yeah. We're, we're so excited to be represented with Nearpod and Renaissance together. It's such a great story together, but even more than that is our story of our products coming together. And I, I feel like this is a massive breakthrough in EdTech this year because we are really putting it together in a, in a way that educators haven't had that experience before where, you know how products come together in the past in history is like, hey, it's a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And, you know, things don't always work exactly as you want them to, but you like both products like, say, Nearpod and Renaissance or Accelerated Reader and Star or Myon and Accelerated Reader. We are taking a major step forward this year and we're launching Renaissance Next, which is in a way, no pun intended, the next thing for Renaissance, but we hope the next thing for the industry as well as we uh, as we continue to expand this interoperable assessment-driven instruction environment vision. Yeah. Well, so let's let's dive into that. Let's let's talk about get into the meat of it, and what does this mean for for your users, for the teachers, for the students, and and maybe get into a little bit of what that integration looks like. Because, like you said, a lot of times companies come together, and you still have these kind of desperate products under one umbrella but this is actually bringing them all together so let's get let's get deep into this yeah and it actually is really bringing in the use of assessment in the classroom like never before in my opinion um, granted I'm the one helping to create this stuff so I guess I'm a little biased but sure, sure. <laughs> um, you know my former back I'm a teacher I'm a former teacher I taught for eight years like you guys I taught I taught in the classroom I made my way into ed tech, building products through the years. I've worked at many, many companies. But this launch is special because really taking assessment and bringing it to the teacher in a rational, reasonable, and understandable way so she can make decisions on it. We're focused, zero focus this year on the teacher. Mm -hmm. Next year, I want to talk to you more about the students because okay. they're going to get, we're already in the R&D process for what's next for students. Right. But Renaissance Next for Teachers is a simple, easy to use interface where the teacher sees right away her instant assessment results that have come from the platform, from the STAR assessments, very soon the FastBridge assessments, and that exhaust data of all that information is coming to a front page. It knows which students, it knows which content their schools have licensed, and it smartly recommends and gives teachers the next step based on where those students are. That might be showing the teacher exactly what students need to be regrouped. That might be showing what lesson might need to be retaught. So for the, for the first example of regrouping, we'll take those star scale scores, see those growth scores, map that to them, and, and if that customer happens to have our Freckle Math product or our Mayan Literacy product, automatically regroups them and says, hey, these students probably need more of this, and these students need more Mayan or, or Freckle lessons. It can go to the individual student, it can go to groups of students, it can go to the whole class. So the data is... Getting, getting, getting technical for just a minute. We, we took all the data assets from all of our products that are launching on Renaissance Next. So that's Star, Accelerated Reader, 30, 40 year old products, yeah. Yeah. but doing very well in the market still. Yeah. Very simple, easy to use. I think I remember you all were uh, Accelerated Reader. Using uh, since the yeah, 90s. yeah, yeah. yeah. We, yeah. we talked about that last year. But I think yeah. that the cool part now is Star and Accelerated Reader and Myon can all work together in one environment where the teacher can now see how am I going to motivate, motivate my kids to read based on their scores? How are I going to give them some intervention techniques? How am I going to reteach some lessons with more content? 
for math, I might, that teacher might see freckle activities and lessons, and that's for the individual students, that's for groups of students, or that's for the whole class. So in, in many ways, through, through ed tech history, you kind of log into your assessment platform, you see your assessment results, you go, okay, that's good. You can come over here, come over here and you say, oh, now I'm logging into my math product, my application, Freckle in our case. I see the, how my students are doing here. And then you go over to the LMS and you see where your students are over here. And then you go back to the SIS and you see where all these students are. What we're trying to bring together is this experience at the front page for the teacher where she has the instrumentation to diagnose instantly and on demand. So mobile environment, she's walking with her phone, she's got the Renaissance Next platform, platform open, and she sees assessments ready to connect, knowing this student needs a little bit of coaching or support, knowing this student is way above her level and she needs to be accelerated on. And we need to accelerate learning for all, not just the lowest of the low, but the highest of the highs as well. So we believe that every child has this opportunity to accelerate learning through this teacher and through Renaissance Next. So many questions. Okay. So <laughs> we can dive in. Um, I, I, behind us, I saw the uh, the dashboard come up for next, and it's glorious. Thank you. Especially on you know, we, there's all the products: Nearpod, uh, uh, Freckle, Myon. It's all right there. So you know, to me, that's been the biggest problem we've always had. Uh, and it's not really a problem. A lot of schools have instructional facilitators, they have curriculum designers, and but for a teacher to wait to come in, for that person to come into their classroom and sit down with them and help them understand the data that they're getting on the students in real time, that can take days and that can take, that's a lot of time. And so what you guys have given them is, hey, here's this information right now. And you know, I've, wait, I've already got seven Nearpod lessons prepped for this. So that's where David needs to go because he's way ahead of the curve. And Jeff needs to hit my on because we've got to get him back on target here. Yeah, wow. I mean, to me, that's the biggest deal is helping our teachers learn a better way to teach in a more efficient, Way. Yeah, and I think a lot of products have done in and of themselves this work, and, and, and mostly in the areas of credit recovery, alternative education. I've built some of these products in the past, and there's some great companies out there doing some great work for high school remediation. If you think about it, these kids have, have fallen far behind, they need an assessment, they need to connect that assessment and instructional results, and they will kind of do that. But that's not the classroom environment of a fourth grade or an eighth grade or a seventh grade classroom. We've got to teach everyone. You're not in this luxury of going, I got these alternative ed kids and they're in this remediation model. I've got to he help every single child. And now I've got an MTSS program that's running in my district. And how do I manage an MTSS program? Well, we're pretty excited about our EduClimber product coming into this ecosystem as well. We have an MTSS administrator platform. Okay. So that's going to come in the future. But I won't want to get ahead of myself. But what we're trying to do now is, I, I kind of, here's my metaphor that I just thought of as you were talking. When you get in your car, you need the basic instrumentation. You need the basics, like how fast am I going? Or is the engine overheating? Is my radio station on the right radio? Uh, that's probably more important. Or, or, or am I playing my right um, MP, MP4 media, you know, whatever. Are my streaming service is connected, whichever. What I don't need to know is what the car mechanic knows when they plug their little fancy gadget in and it says, this piston was misfiring at this right. level and this thing was done that. So my, my metaphor here is how do we bring assessment results right to the classroom teacher so they know how to drive better with this experience? How they know how to take the immediate steps, the next steps, the next things that's best and most important. Because let's face it, the textbook, the assessments, the supplemental applications that are there, they're all in disparate worlds. Yep. And they're all living in their own environments with their own logins and their own all kinds of craziness. And the LMS is maybe telling them what to teach when, but are they using the data that just came out of that STAR assessment to, to immediately remediate on a tier one level? So think about that car, when you're, when you're driving that car, you wanna have those instrumentations instant, you wanna have a ju just in time, you wanna know I need to speed up, I need to slow down, I need to change the radio. You know, I'm, granted, this metaphor falls apart pretty quickly, but the main point is I want teachers to have the right tools in front of them at the right time so they can make the more urgent change and not just go through the silos of, I'm teaching my textbook over here and I got way too much to teach, I just gotta hustle through it. I wanna measure with assessment, I wanna measure and, 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 and manage that result. I mean, we've for years lived with this end of test results and interim assessments that have kind of pointed the way. Now with progress monitoring assessments, we're getting more regular. Every two, three weeks, of, we have more data about that child. And that could be down to a specific skill, that could be at a standard level, that could be at a domain level. We might have more information 
But unfortunately, it's packed into siloed information systems across the board. And, and now we're going to try to bring that front and center for the teacher so she can make those adjustments. Not like the car dealer who's going, oh, there's 47 things we could probably do and we could go make a right, plan. Right. And don't get me wrong. I think the assessment leader, whoever's leading assessment for a district, they better have all of those mechanics, all those yeah. detailed reports, right. all that detailed data. That's for about, weekend. That's for weekend. That's, yeah. that's two days a week. That's yeah. right. You know, the urgency of it, that's what we, we talk a lot about. You only get one third grade year. You only get one eighth grade year, you know, and the urgency of it is uh, to this day of 54. Hey, mom, I'm sick. What do I take? <laughs> it's the urgency of I need something to fix it right now. And, and just like you're talking about, I'm driving my car. Just tell me I'm out of gas. Tell me I need to that's change right. the oil. I don't want to know the codes and all that good stuff. And you're right. That's exactly what the teacher's looking for. And that's exactly what you guys are providing. Like, yeah. And, 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 and when I. There's two big things I'm excited about with the, for the teacher. I'm excited that they have an instant recommendation. So Nearpod has been such a phenomenal product. Mm -hmm. And now to see your Nearpod results connected to your star scores to have something instant to teach. Because I think what teachers have a tough time doing is, I don't think my students really got that. And they may have used some formative assessments. They may use some pre and post assessments. We have some of those products as well. And, and, and next year, hopefully this time, I'll be talking about how our DNA product or our uh, School City product will be coming into this fold. But these are custom formative assessments, end of unit, check-in, check-outs. And sometimes textbooks have those type of assessments as well. But what the teacher isn't really able to do is see the progress over time, see these growth measures, and have instant lessons to maybe reteach. Like, I taught that lesson. Did it really work? Do I understand it? And when I come and see those star results maybe a week later, I can see that that whole class didn't get it. And Am I going to do the same thing? Maybe I should try something a little different. At least that's what RTI and MTSS and Tier 1 teaching and instruction, pedagogy, instructional design would tell us to do. So that's where the power of Nearpod and all this rich content, all this rich delivery, sending that to the student for a homework lesson, reteaching it as a whole class, or sending to a small group to, to work on some things together as a team. Well, one of the things that uh, I, I, don't, I don't know what you know, okay? So... This, this may be something that you're fully aware of, and this may be the reason why all of this has come to be. Uh, but my wife is a, a teacher, and uh, one of the things that is happening across the entire state where we are, uh, and I would imagine that this is something that's happening in other states as well, is getting to your point about the instant feedback and then the immediate turnaround into figuring out what students belong in what groups for that group teaching. Because what's happening in our state is teachers teach, right? And then they have to assess almost immediately after they're teaching. And, and, by, and by this, I mean, it's like within five or 10 minutes, they have to take an assessment of the students, figure out where they are, and then in that time, separate them out into small groups in order to address that in, for all intents and purposes, real time. You know, it, it is not like I would venture many of, uh, at least us sitting here, potentially folks, some, you know, a lot of folks listening, that's not kind of how we kind of, quote, quote, grew up in education, right? Oh, you know, no. we had small groups, but it was not immediate. It wasn't, it didn't have that urgency. That's and right. this, to me, feels like it fits perfectly in line with what our state, and I'm assuming other states are doing, in terms of that. Can, can you speak to that? Are absolutely. you aware that that's what's happening? No, absolutely. No, yeah, 100%. So we have had to rebuild a lot of our products based on a state initiatives, state standards, the skills necessary. And the cool thing about being part of Renaissance and being at this for over 40 years, or almost 40 years, is we have been able to, every single year, we go through every state standard and we map that to all the skills in our, in, in, in our entire item bank. And we basically have a spine uh, of all of the skills necessary to teach and learn mapped to the state standards of that state. And we've watched some states shift both the priority of certain areas of that. Obviously, science of reading is probably the hottest thing right now. Yes. Uh, we have products like Lalilo and our Star Phonics product that can, can diagnose if a student's missed certain phoneme blends blending together, coming together as phonic skills. We can measure that and then we can give them a specific lesson. So this idea of having instant data, instant opportunities, and multiple assessment types as well, because just one assessment is not good enough. We need enough data to make that decision, but we don't want it to take up the entire learning time either. So I think the balance is how do you keep this short, connected, but have multiple types of assessments that map right to the state standards. And then the other piece here is 
we have psychometrically valid focus skills where we have learned from billions of data points what students master and what they don't master. And through the years, so in Texas, in fourth grade, we know that these students will miss these six, seven, eight skills in fourth grade. And you need to focus on these because we know that even if with limited instruction, kids gravitate, they get, they start to understand some other skills that we may take too long teaching in the classroom. So how do we adapt this amount of time spent on more difficult skills and really drill down? Because, I mean, we all know it. The fractions problem, the algebra problem, the foundational reading problem, the comprehension leap from learning to read to reading to learn. There are some big, chunky chunky steps in most state standard domains that need to be delved into a lot deeper and there are some things that we need to fly over pretty quickly and spend our time on the hard stuff so what we're doing is we're analyzing all of that exhaust data providing those ai analytics for that helping teachers find that 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 problem that challenge right away and giving them the resources to teach like nearpod like freckle like myon And then as we move further, we're going to build a student application for this uh, platform as well as a a connectedness to our EduClimber MTSS platform as well. So this is the future of Renaissance. We're building things together. We're not building silos. We're building our products to work together. We know we didn't start with one product and be able to develop it over 30 years. We did with Star and AR, obviously. But we had to acquire our way into this space and buy the best companies what we call the best of breed companies to come in and teach and learn and now the fun part is wow this when you put these two products together with this assessment look what can happen in the classroom okay so uh we'll wrap up i know there's so much going on something like ISTE. i have to ask this question for the you know the teams out here on the floor you know real exciting stuff going on so you know you've got 30 seconds if you're lucky with an educator so what are the top three, top five things that we try to get across to them, you know, about Renaissance Next and, you know, and Nearpod and, you know, all the other, pro- the, the, all the other services, the Freckle, Myon, et cetera. How does that work? Number one, we want to provide the most efficient system possible so you can use your time and guide yourself as an expert teacher with the data you need to drive instruction. We as educators haven't been fully trained on using data. We have more data than we probably have ever had in our our careers as educators now, if you're listening. How do you use the right data at the right time without having to spend a lot of extra time? How do you have the right resources at the right time so you don't have to go hunt and peck and search and create and reassemble lesson plans and activities and do all this? How can we save teachers time is number one. Number two, how do we become experts at using the lesson and the activity, not just because it's cool, it's fun, it's innovative, they laugh, they have fun, but that it works, that I measure it, that I know it works, so I have a return on education. So how do I provide, and I see those results, and I can see them over the year, and I can see them year over year on what's happening with those kids, and see the results of that. And I'd say, number three, how do I really use technology in my hand? How do I really use it for the best benefit? And it's both a a data, a resource, a support, and helping that individual learner grow and accelerate. If my whole mindset is accelerate their learning, accelerate their learning, move this child forward, I want to see every student's ability to grow. That isn't really possible if you're drilling... If you're going just through the textbook and your standard assessment at the beginning of the year, middle of the year, and the end of the year, you've got to use more data richly to save you time, return... And, and return more educational results and truly accelerate learning for every student. So, Todd, thanks for the interview. Hey, it's great. Thank you, yeah, guys. And it looks great. great. Stuff. Everything's going to be great. I, I saw the poetry slam. I, I wish I was better at it. I'd love to come up and perform. But <laughs> Well, yeah. you got to come and watch. Anyway. I definitely got to come and watch. Right. So, yeah. Thank you, guys. For Thank sure. you. Yeah, right. good to Cheers. see you. You've been listening to an EduTech Guys recording from ISTE 2024. Find this and many more at edutechguys.com. Unlock the power of interconnected solutions with Renaissance, where superior research meets practical tools for student success. Their newest innovation, Renaissance Next, integrates assessment, practice, and instruction seamlessly, empowering teachers to personalize learning like never before. Renaissance Next provides actionable insights and high-quality tools, ensuring every student reaches their full potential.
From clear assessments to personalized instruction and comprehensive data solutions, Renaissance is committed to transforming education. Visit renaissance.com to learn more about how they are redefining learning for the future. Renaissance, empowering educators, inspiring students.